when I was looking at purchasing an antenna rotator uh, and controller uh, to use, I spent an awful lot of time doing research on it and uh, my preferred uh, make was the Yezu range. Um, I think they're one of the biggest suppliers of rotators and I was trying to look on YouTube for how the controller works, how the rotator works, how you install the rotator, how you calibrate the rotator and I wasn't really coming across anything that I found particularly useful so I've decided to do uh, a couple of videos, one on the um, uh, the bench test and alignment of the rotator before it goes up on the roof and then what I also wanted to do is just do a a very short video just on the actual controller itself um, just so you can see what you're getting here so it's very straightforward I don't know how this compares to the other models of uh, the Yezu rotators this one is specifically for the G1000 DXC, so that's Golf 1000 Delta X-Ray Charlie. Um, as I say, I don't know how it compares to the other models that they have, but I'm just going to take you through this one. Down the bottom here, you've got a, a straightforward power button, so on and off. When you press it on, you'll notice that the um, lights within the bezel illuminate like so so if you are operating in low light you can see uh, where the um, actual rotator is sat you've got a uh, what they class as a seesaw switch down here um, you've got a right turn and you literally just have to hold that down and it rotates I'm hoping you can hear the rotator in the background and then back the other way it's as simple as hitting the left. Left is considered counterclockwise, right is considered clockwise. Um, you've also got some presets here. Um, now you've got uh, 0 degrees, 90, 180, 270, 360, and then uh, a 90, which makes up the 450. So it will go round one and a quarter times. So what I'm going to show you first is we're just going to hit the 90 degrees or set it to the 90 degrees hit the start button and hopefully that should go round and stop at 90 degrees at least that's the theory now you will see in another video I have actually calibrated this so it is actually ready for me to install which I'm hoping to do tomorrow. We've had some awful wind over the last couple of days and it hasn't been possible to do. Now that lo does look like it's sh stopped just shy of 90 degrees, so maybe I just have to um, make a very slight adjustment on the potentiometer on the back. What I'm gonna do is take it all the way round to 90 degrees. So that's from this point, it's gonna travel another 360 degrees. The reason I'm doing that, two reasons, I'm going to show you the overlap light will come on when you go past the 360 degrees and I'm also going to just show you how the speed option works. So we'll turn that round to 90, that started already. So just mentioning the other dial on the front, you do have a speed option. Uh, the speed option is obviously going to determine how far or fast the antenna rotator moves. Now uh, they say in the book when you set it up to leave it on low, which to this point I've done, and I'm not really sure I would ever move it off of low. I can't say I won't, but I don't really see a need. But just to demonstrate, and hopefully I'm, you will hear the change in pitch of the rotator. So we're just gonna turn that up. Now that's about halfway. It will go faster, but I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to turn that back down 
to low so you can see there is a speed option on that now you'll see we're getting near the first 360 degree now I'm hoping this overlap light is going to come on so that lets you know that you have turned the rotator 360 degrees obviously you need this to be aware of your coax because you're going to have to leave a loop for that to um, or enough slack for that to take up now in theory if this preset works it should stop just at 90 or probably just shy of 90 because I think I've got to change the actual calibration of that so what we're going to do is just turn that back to naught we're going to let that go all the way back round if I wanted to I could stop that at other places on the way uh, it's just I'm putting it back to naught so that I am ready for the install tomorrow you should see this overlap go out when it goes past there we go um, past the zero or in this case the 360 degrees um, and that will now run all the way back round to naught I'm going to let that run on there's no point you actually seeing that but you know I hope that's been of use to you um, I would certainly have liked to have seen something like this when I was looking to purchase this little unit it's a very basic um, video that I've shown you but at least you can see in close up what controls you've got on here and how it works one thing I I haven't said that within the bezel here which does come off if we just take that off like so um, when it's all set up I have got a north south east west they give you a, an overlay to put in there uh, when it's all set up and um, so that's quite a nice little feature as well so that's all uh, for this little video hopefully you'll have found it some use and um, yeah I'll talk to you again soon <laughs>